right here in Morristown, Tennessee. Starting off on 265 foot hole one, we're going to hand it off to the tournament announcer. As you heard there, Prodigy sponsored Chris Dickerson first to tee off here. Uh, 265 foot par three. Uh, there's a hill directly behind the basket and OB at the very bottom of the hill. So uh, these guys are going to be mainly throwing a putter and trying to get it to sit down near the basket. Yeah, this is definitely a hole where you want to play it safe. You still want to go for it, but you just hope it doesn't roll away. Next up. Good friend of ours. He's actually on the uh, Prodigy Street team. This is a tough putt, tougher than it looks. Chris runs it a little bit high. I'm sorry, not the tournament, but great way to start the final round of the tournament. Dickerson lining it up. Happy to walk away with a par. I've seen some big numbers taken on that too. 535 foot par 4. This is a. Let's see what Dickerson can do here. Looks like maybe a little bit of Anheuser trying to get some flex at the end. Yeah, I like to end up on the right side of the tree. It looks like that's what he's trying to do. He's under the basket, and that's what you want. Looks like Chris is going for this. Mm -hmm. Chris trying to extend that lead early. Yeah. Yeah. Try to have a jump putt or a short approach. Uh, I actually like that placement up on the left side of the hill. Par, but as the tournament director and course designers rolls, shot. That is a really great shot. Dickerson looks to be going with the wide hyzer. High shot, getting plenty of fade. That's a good shot as well. Hard to see where it ended up there. I lay it up and give himself a putt. So Dickerson's a little bit further out than I thought he was. Just tossing it up there, set it down. Perfect shot. Everybody Rails tapping in. Rails tapping in. Moving on to hole number four. It's a 310 foot par three but he should have a jump putt from there. As long as you're not in the wooded area, you're good. Mm -hmm. Chris Dickerson starting out 2018 with 14 wins before this tournament. Uh, he won his first 10 tournaments of the year, one of those being an A tier that he won this year. So Dickerson, Is that good? That, that's pretty good. I would say that's good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And as you, Hopefully he can make his comebacker and walk away with a par. Dickerson taking his time trying to line it up. If he can make this putt, he'll be three down through four holes. Which would be a great way to start the final round while he's already in the lead. Yep. He takes away another birdie. This is a good bit for Ann. Definitely trying to make a charge towards first place. Moving on, hole number five quite a bit. You can check back some older coverage of Tennessee State. Check out the Disc Eye channel. Shout out to Brad Beck for all the work he did on the Tennessee State coverage in the past. Chris going to the forehand. I remember last year his shot here got Ooh. caught a little early, but he's peered it. A little bit of roll away, but it did. Now this uphill is a little bit better than from the side. You know, you've got you've got the hill behind it to keep you safe if you do miss. I mean, there's still the chance for a roll away, but it's less. Yeah, you can definitely be more aggressive from the bottom side here. Mm -hmm. Just a little off. <laughs> a couple more tap-ins left here. Looks like everybody's... Dickerson's sitting at 37 down now, moving on to hole number six. Two cracked me up there. Mm -hmm. Someone asked him how it was, and he said, I don't know I'm too short to see. <laughs> he was jumping up. That's it. That looks good. 
Oh, 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 I spoke too soon. That was a post knife from Griffith there. Bees right before the basket. Dickerson's got a little bit longer of a putt than he was wanting. Um, we have seen Dickerson can a bunch of putts like this from this distance, so we'll see what he can do here. It's got to go up and over the bush right in the middle of the fairway. Mm -hmm. It was a good run. Mm -hmm. Just a little late. Chris tapping in, and as you can see, Brandon has still not. But he hit a tree, he didn't hit one. <laughs> Moving on to hole number seven, 300. There's Chris going for it. Yep. Chris lining up the big hyzer. Is the camera guy ready? We'll find out, won't we? Yeah. Speaking of, shout out, big shout out to Mark Vickers for running our second camera. The second camera, or two camera coverage wouldn't have been possible without him, so a huge shout out to Mark for doing this. Let's see if he can catch this. And he does. Absolutely. Good catch, Mark. Tombstone. Mm -hmm. Right. That's going to be a four from Logan there, so that's definitely going to be in his mind for the next few holes. Chris, just outside the circle here. Looks to be lining up a step, huh? Mm-hmm. And he's able to convert. Good birdie. Four down through seven holes. Moving on to hole number eight. Long 615 foot par four. These guys are going to be putting as much power as they can behind this and see how far they can get up the hill. Uh, basket's a little left of where the tee is, but for the most part kind of straight. Yeah, it's, just, it's hard to get a lot of distance going uphill like that. Mm -hmm. These these guys can definitely do it. Distance he got. Remember, this is 615 feet and uphill. He's throwing a putter on that second shot. Yeah. So. Oh, Chris has got some air on it. And that's absolutely what you want. Other uh, pros. When I get a three on this hole, I put a par four on the scorecard. 450 uh, feet. Yeah. Uh, this one is going to play as a par three for these guys. They have yes. big arms. We've got some big arms on this card, so um, it's marked as a par four. So these guys are thinking eagle in their head. Chris with a little bit of hyzer. Oh, came up a little bit left side, but he's definitely got a. Luckily it's set down there. He should be able to make that putt. Guys, Chris wants this. And, and he, got he it. gets it. A little left, but he's he, he just wants it in. It's a great right. putt right there. Let's see that one again and get a backtrack. Taking his time. Little step putt action. Little left side, yeah. but it's stuck. <laughs> Great putt from Chris. Yeah, at the time he just doesn't care. Chris really extended. We're starting off this back nine on hole number 10, 485 foot par four. First, we got Prodigy sponsor Chris Dickerson on the tee. This has always been a weird hole. Like the, the drive on this is really weird. You know, mm -hmm. the I'm always interested in how they're going to play it. Yeah, it looks like uh, Chris is probably going to go to try and get some turnover. Pro it looks like a maybe a hyzer flip and hoping it'll turn over. Looks to be doing that. It's a very impressive drive. Landed up there near that tree. He's going to have a jump putt left side there. Shout out to Seth Overbay in the background there. That's who I thought that was. <laughs> you can check out Seth playing uh, Cherokee Park in our... Uh, BDGC tournament of the first annual Granger Fall Classic coverage. Dickerson putts. Mm, okay. Thankfully that one sat down. It's a soft par four, definitely, but. Yeah. Oh, Brandon got <laughs> right away. <laughs> that little photo bomb there from Brandon. That's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Moving on to hole number 11, 290 foot par three. Uh, you've got a few trees to deal with off the tee pad here. A little open area and then it goes back into a very wooded area so there's a bunch of different angles you can take on this mm -hmm. but I like the idea of the flip that he looks like he's about to do mm -hmm. 
there is actually a right side hyzer gap too. You're not going to see that here. Uh, the pros can reach it that way. As you can see, Dickerson just passed the pin there. Uh, this definitely feels good to get a two on this one. Dickerson looking for the two as well. Really lining up his putt, taking his time. Make sure he gets his release on point. I like this slow pan out you're going <laughs> to. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, great putt from Dickerson. That's a birdie. Those fake outs on his putt. This is a tunnel shot right down the middle of the fairway. If you can get out of the small fairway, then it's open from there. But as you can see, it's a very tight fairway. So there is a left side gap over there. So, local route. Yeah, local route. Uh, pretty much a safe play. Mm -hmm. But I'm like myself, I usually take the safe play and play this hole for a three. I know I don't have the arm to ever two this hole. So Yay. I play for the three. Mm. Yeah. A little bit. He's got a long putt. And Chris hit something on his after he got out of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. And they did plant one tree. You can kind of see it on the left side there, directly in the middle of the fairway. So uh, that's yeah, that's real courteous. Mm -hmm. Dickerson goes ahead and taps in his here. For that. Moving on to hole number thirteen. Spoiler alert: This is going to be a short one. It's two hundred and sixty feet. Basically, a uh, Roddy Hauser shot. There is a left side gap too, but it plays a little wider and there's some dead limbs out there. So it looks like these guys are more than likely all gonna be going for this right Hauser here. It's kind of a blind hole. Oh. But you, you're pretty much shot. listening for YouTubers don't like spoilers, but. <laughs> Brandon with the birdie too. See if Dickerson can get it as well. Absolutely no problem. Logan, good star frame there from everybody. Here's the long one, hole number 14, 635 feet, par four. Uh, this is gonna be your uh, legit par four on this course. Yeah, slightly uphill, but when you're throwing it, it feels more than slightly uphill. Yeah. Absolutely. Many different shots you can throw on this. Mm -hmm. You can see a little bit of a gallery forming there. It's great to see some people walking around to the pros. Dixon with a really good pull. Needs that to slow down. There's OB on the left side. Kind of, the, you're blind to the basket. Mm -hmm. And there is, actually, we should have mentioned this before, uh, behind the basket there is a huge roll away. It's kind of right on the edge of a hill. Yeah, it's major. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a good shot from career putts on, on the course, I think. Maybe uh, with the exception of hole one, I'd say that's probably the scariest putt if you land short of the basket. Now Chris has got a stump in his way. Mm -hmm. See what he can do with it. Ooh, he turned that over a little bit much. He's really making it a run for it. Watch the front nine if you haven't already. Logan with Moving on to hole number 15, 360 feet. Oh yeah, absolutely. You check out some of the older uh, Tennessee State coverage from uh, the disc eye, uh, you can see how wooded this hole used to be. They've cleaned it up quite a bit. There, quite a there bit. actually used to not be a left side gap. You had to go up through the middle. That one kept turning. It's hard to see on the camera, but it kept turning and ended up on the left side. As I said here, Dickerson uh, a little bit on the left side with a, he's downhill a little bit. He actually can't see, uh, neither one of us can see the basket from where we were at, where we were at down there and yeah. almost put it in. Dickerson lining up, trying to make his par three after that outstanding upshot. Great putt from Chris. Sometimes I feel like I have to be quiet on the putt, even though necessary. It isn't necessarily a a two that most people are going to get. It's it's one that's very you feel good after getting that one. I'll say. Oh yeah. Moving on to hole 16. I'm sure they're all thinking must get on this one. Basket down to the right side. Plays downhill. I love the way these Andy shots look mm -hmm. on this hole. 
slow turn, oh. and that is perfect. Yeah. Come on, Chris. No pressure. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to see on this hole. Dickerson's stretching out his lead. He's at 45 down now. Moving on to hole number 17, 480 feet. This one, uh, you're at the top of a hill and it goes over uh, just a valley, yeah. and then the basket's up on another hill. So definitely potential for roll away. Chris turning it over, looking for some fade. This looks good. And that's heading towards the basket. Wow. Great shot. Dickerson looking for an eagle too as well. What a drive. Outstanding drive from Dickerson right there. You put it, you know, all left to play in the tournament. Hole 18, 455 foot par four. Now this hole's pretty uphill. Doesn't really look like an on camera, but it is. And there is an OB on and past the path to the right. Mm -hmm. That walking path you see there. This OB, they're gonna to wanna to turn it over, but not too much to where they'll go OB. Dickerson has turned it. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Very good shot. He's definitely gonna have a jump putt or a Brandon uh, wasn't able to make that one, but thankfully it sat down beside the basket. Dickerson looking for an eagle too. If he can make this, as long as nobody's done a whole lot of work on the second card, it would have to be an amazing amount of work. And this should secure his win at the Tennessee State Tournament. Let's see what he can do. And, yeah, and he makes it. That's going to be a great last putt. Absolutely. So there's your Tennessee State champion right there, Mr. Mm -hmm. Chris Dickerson. 2017 and 2018 champion. Let's get a backtrack on this final putt to win the tournament. Great putt. Part of the chains, that's what you want. He can breathe now. Mm -hmm. Very good tournament for Chris. He put in a lot of work. As you can tell, he puts in a lot of work. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.